Hey friends, it's Paige Evans. I have a new process video to share with you today. I'm trying to keep up with my goal of doing one process video every week. So here we go. This layout features punched flowers and I'm grabbing my older collection called Turn the Page and this is paper number two, which has a bunch of really pretty pastel-y flowers. So I am using this punch which has several different types of flowers and a leaf and I am punching a whole bunch. I'm basically just going to punch as many as I can out of this pattern paper so I go all around the edges and then trim off that edge and then work my way into the middle. Now I am flipping over all of the flowers because I just want to use the side that has the pastel flowers and not the other side which is like darker stripes. So I'm flipping over all of the flowers and then I will start layering them up. So here we go. Next step is to glue the different pieces together. So I'm adding a smaller flower onto the middle of each of the larger flowers. And then there are tiny dots and tiny flowers. So for each flower there will be three layers. The large flower, the medium flower, and the tiny flower. I'm using Liquid Glue by American Crafts. I love this adhesive because it dries super quickly so I can continue working on my project, which is always nice to get projects done faster. For the background I am choosing this pattern paper which is a mint floral design. And I've actually used this pattern paper for a background before, which I, I like to use a different background for every layout that I do, but sometimes, you know, you just gotta go with what looks best. So maybe I should have tried using a solid mint cardstock, but I do like having the repeating floral design on the background, it just enhances the florals that I'm using. So I'm placing the flowers in clusters of light colors, kind of. These flowers are multicolored, so it's not exactly an exact science, but I'm just trying to cluster, you know, the blues together, the pinks together, the yellows together in a round-ish shape. And once I like the placement of placement of the flowers. I'm using the same liquid adhesive to attach them in place. And again, this dries super quickly. So I can just dab a tiny dot of glue and that works like a gem. And it gets these flowers stuck down quickly and easily. And then I lift up my paper to see if there's any ones that are that I missed. And it looks like I did miss one right there, so quickly glue that one down, shake it again. No other flowers need to be glued down. And then moving on to the leaves from the same punch. So again, I'm, I'm trying to place these in the color of the flowers. So the green flowers, I'll place the green leaves. In the pink flowers, I'll place, place the pink leaves. And I am folding them in half to create dimension. So I fold them in half, place them where I like. This is the photo that I'm going to use. But before I adhere the photo in place, I'm going to adhere the leaves down using the same liquid glue. And those dry quickly. And there's a whole bunch of them. So I take my time doing that. And now I'm going to add dimension to all of the flowers. So the liquid glue has dried, so I'm folding up and bending up the petals of all of the flowers and this creates really cool texture and dimension which eventually will get flattened down inside the page protector inside the scrapbook but even after being squashed you'll still be able to get the general feel and sense of the dimension and texture of these flowers so it's super cool and they were bending up a whole bunch so i just kind of flattened them down just a little bit so they're not super dimensional. And now I'm adding the photo in the center and the title will be She Makes. So I grabbed these mini white foam thickers from my Pick Me Up collection, which is the one that was right after Turn the Page, I believe. 
I thought about placing the title in this empty space below the photo, kind of in the curve of the flowers, but there was a lot of white space on the photo, so I gently peeled them off and decided to place the title directly on the photo, so it kind of blends in. It's the white on white, creates a texture. So the title is She Makes, and then coming in with a white paint pen by Sharpie to write my journaling in the white space below the photo, which is where I had the title originally, so just replacing the title with my journaling. I want to add some leaf sequins. So these are also from the Turn the Page collection. There are sequins of leaves and flowers. So I'm just adding a couple of the mint leaf sequins in the empty spots all around the flower wreath using the same quick dry adhesive to attach these in place. So here, as you can see, the layout and the flowers and the dimension and the colors and this layout has just been really fun to create. One final step, I just want to add a colorful pink heart onto the photo. Just for a little pop of, a pop of love. I love my daughter. And that's the finished layout. I hope you are inspired to find and use your punches and create colorful dimensional pages. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you in my next process video. Have a great day.